So the grab tool is more of a utility and less of an actual tool. It doesn't add any controls and it doesn't add any expressions, uh, but it's an incredibly helpful little feature. So uh, some properties obviously have shortcuts like position, scale, and rotation, easy to pop up and even opacity. But some properties don't, uh, like effects. So if I had a property I wanted to change, like starting thickness and ending thickness, I would have to go and find them on every single layer or type them into a search bar and possibly find them, because uh, that's always a little sketchy. So if I used a tool like grab, I can quickly go through and uh, get any like properties. And if I double press the shortcut S to see selected properties, you're going to see that I've selected all the starting thicknesses and ending thicknesses in this composition. So once things are selected, you kind of have this little live link uh, between all the properties because they're all selected at once. So it's a really great way to do kind of bulk changes. So if I unselected it, and get out of this live link to do command A to uh, grab all my layers and go back to this. So let's say I wanted to animate some other property. I could go into uh, my vector just by pressing E to see my effects, grab something like my time, um, literally, and once again go through this, uh, whoopsie, messed that up a little bit. Uh, you can go through your time and just kind of change it for all your layers at once. So uh, once again, I think this is a really handy feature that you're gonna love. Uh, and I hope you uh, find a way to use it. So the other little part of grab is it also where it either works in your entire composition at once or it can work on just the selected layers. So if I only wanted to process maybe these couple layers, I could do grab and uh, only get the selected properties on that layer. So a really quick way just to speed up your workflow and work with Midas stuff as well.